Hey y'all, Farmer Kevin out here with the uh, cows in the pasture. I'm gonna do a pasture update here, out here. And uh, you can kind of see it's this cool little zone where you can see good amount of animal impact. So right, let's go, let's start from the beginning. So right back there where those hay bales are. So that is three days ago. And then two days ago, and then this was yesterday, and that's today. Um, and it's an interesting thing. You can, and then further back over there, you can see more days ago, and you can kind of see where they're gonna be going over there. And uh, one, it's one of the things I wanted to talk about was time, um, because it's kind of actually more important where the cattle are not as to where they are currently because overgrazing is um, counterintuitively not a factor of animal numbers but a factor of time so um, you know we can take a good especially at this time of year when the grass is growing really fast we are taking everything we're taking all the grass it's gone they have you can see clearly defined graze lines where they have mowed everything down they're consuming every blade of grass um, currently in each field but we're giving that grass and all the other plants adequate time to recover so that's the key is um the um it's 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 honestly the more important is where the cows are not and so they don't go back and they won't go back and graze those you know for 30 40 days and at this time of year that grass is going to be fully recovered and starting to head into flowering stage it's going to be a stage two growth um, and it's going to be really nutritious at that point all of the parasite cycles have taken care of themselves um, and we're getting full recovery on that grass and that's the most important thing is it's a factor of time. So, um, you know, the, the more that we can kind of condense and consolidate and move those, those, this herd as, the, as they would naturally be doing in the wild under the uh, influence of, of upper level predators, we're taking and we're removing and we're not coming back. And that's the most important thing is we're giving adequate recovery time, giving those those grasses and other plants plenty of time to recover so that they can be fully grown and nutritious. All right, so go subscribe to our channel. Um, stay up to date, pasture updates, and uh, we'll talk with you soon.